Okay, in this video I'm going to continue on with exercise 3A of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics. We're getting near the finish now. I know this has been a ridiculously long set of, uh, set of problems. So this one reads, the maximum height and the range of a projectile are equal. Find the angle of projection to the nearest degree. Now, to be honest, this one leads directly on from question 18 on page 73. So I'm not going to bother doing all the things I did in question 18 again. So we found in question 18 that at the maximum height, S sub Y max is equal to u squared sine squared alpha over 2g and s sub x the range is equal to u squared sine 2 alpha over g and I said to you, now that's there we'll say the, the solution is given in the book but I said to you that uh, if he's after saying that g yeah, he says minus g is equal to 9.81 and I'm after telling you that I always say g is equal to minus 9.81 like so. So in this case I'm going to say both of these here are, oh, that, that doesn't look good I'm going to say that's negative where my definition of gravity is slightly different. So anyway, that's what we have and we're told that both of these are equal so to be honest this is a case of just very simple algebra. So we say that s sub x is equal to s sub y, therefore we get like so, and cross out that, 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 and that. We get that we have where I brought up this two like so. Okay. Now, where in the last time we substituted for two sine a cos a, this time we're going to go back, and this is two sine cos alpha. Look up in your tables. Cross out the parts that we don't need again. Okay, cross out that sign there. Sine squared. Was there a square there? Sine squared, S Y. Sine squared. Oh, that, excuse me, I did this. <laughs> I did that the wrong way around there. I looked at the wrong one. Excuse me. So we have. Uh, sine squared up. Yeah, we have that. Okay, so this is sine squared alpha is equal to. 2 times 2 sine alpha cos alpha, like so. Can we cross out anything there? Yes, we can. We can cross out the sine with the sine squared. And this becomes 4, of course. And what we're left with there is that sine alpha is equal to 4 cos alpha. Or if you bring down your cos, you're going to get sine over cos which becomes 10 is equal to 4 alpha is equal to 10 inverse 4 is equal to arc 10 remember of course that arc 10 and inverse 10 are just two ways of writing the same thing and put that into your calculator and get alpha now oh, 76 degrees that was pretty straightforward. Thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.